Hey Vince. What's up? You want one of these? That's this one. Dang, dude. Good morning. Am I too early? No. Okay. Not really. Okay, thank you. We're just kind of still setting up. Everything's out, it's just making sure. Okay. <laughs> I was walking around making sure things were priced. Yeah, you know, gotcha. Stuff, so. These are cool. I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of little people. Really? Yes. You have more than what you brought out? No. That's all little people. This is all little people. And there's tons back there behind the Barbie boat. Wow. And these. I'll just start making a pile if that's okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And it's, there's a couple bags that I didn't couldn't put them in sets, so I just kind of dumped it all in one bag. Okay, sure. So, now, for some reason, I kept buying the same thing over and over. I've got <laughs> three of those. I've got wow. One that's never been opened. And one that's missing Robin, and the other one got Robin in. You're asking for a 10 for the all of it. Everything? Okay. Yeah, I'll buy that too. I'm gonna have to just back my car up, I think. <laughs> Getting quite the pile. Alright, I think I've probably done enough damage. 70. Okay. There you go. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, thank you. I'll just back my car right up and load sure. it up. Did you get all the good stuff already? You guys doing good? Hey. Yeah. Hey. All right. We went to the flea market and there was like barely anybody there. Really? Pretty normal. And then uh, interesting. It's a good day for us. Surprising. I know. So we started trying to some sales. How about you? That's pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool, Marlboro. Yeah. Nice. Bidding war for the electronics. Okay. Oh, yours, man. Oh, yeah, I know, BD. You have three vacuum cleaners. Yeah, well, no, we could probably need vacuum cleaners a bit. <laughs> three extras. <laughs> hey, Vince. What's up? You want one of these? I'm probably going to get at least one. There's two DVD recorders. Nah, man, that's all you. Really? Yeah. You don't mess I, with these? Not, not the DVDs. If it's like a combo unit, no, I No, 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 no. DVD recorder. Here's, see this one? That's this one. Dang, dude. And here's the remote. This is a Philips. Um, so basically, whenever you see the, if it's the DVD, DVD recorder, recorder, that's okay. what you want, yeah. Huh, I probably passed okay. up a bunch. I'll buy one if you want to buy the other. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate that, dude. Of course. Take whichever one. I think this one, there's three of them, so. You take two. All right, that's a deal. Take the bottom one. Okay. See if they have a remote for it, because I don't see a Phillips remote. Okay. I got these two for four bucks. I'll set them down and okay. settle yeah, up yeah, with you. And... Yeah. Thank you. What's up, guys? It is Sunday morning, and yesterday I went to a bunch of garage sales and found a lot of really good stuff. I got it all pulled out, and I'm going to show you what I bought. The first sale of the day was a wild one. Uh, the lady had a ton of little people and just toys galore. So, so much stuff, and her prices were really good, so I really didn't bother negotiating, and I wasn't even really looking stuff up. Just kind of shooting from the hip. A lot of Polly Pocket stuff, the Surf and Sun Studio. Uh, here's like a little Wild Ride car thing. Trendy pets with outfits and stuff. These were three a piece. The bigger ones were five a piece. This one right here is worth like 75 bucks. Uh, but then this one, which looks pretty similar, is only worth 10 bucks. So I think it'll average out with some of these. Um, I got them cheap enough so that if they're not really worth selling or anything, I can just, you know, give it to a kid or something. We got plenty of 
nieces and nephews in the family that we're always needing gifts for. The Little People, uh, I think, is what I'll do the best with with her stuff. This is a Mayflower playset. I haven't seen one in the box. I saw one out of the box that sold for around 100 bucks. I got the Hanukkah set. This is going around 100 to 150 bucks. Uh, so we've got the Thanksgiving celebration. That's around 50 to $70. There's a Christmas one back here uh, going for around the same price, 50 to 75 Another Christmas one, around 50 bucks. She had some loose ones too, uh, like Toy Story. Here's Buzz Lightyear and Woody and the RC car and the Jungle Book. Those were cheap enough, three bucks a piece. I went ahead and grabbed them. Some are okay. Um, Jungle Book, I saw prices anywhere from like 20 to 50 uh, The Buzz Lightyear and Woody were more like 15 to 20 then a lot of loose ones, like $3 for, you know, seven or eight of them, which I thought was okay. Uh, she had so many of these, like, DC superheroes, I might just lot, lot them up together and do all those at once. These were, like, a nativity set that wasn't complete, but that was only a dollar, so I went ahead and grabbed those, too. Also at that sale, she had this little play set with all the cars. This is from the uh, Pixar movie Cars. And there's a lot of cars in here. And it was like with the truck and the playset, set, everything was 10 bucks. These are really good to look out for. The uh, licensed cars toys can do really well. Uh, this one specifically, I saw the play set with four or five cars, stuff like 55 bucks. And I think I've got more like 15 to 20 cars. So might try to get close to 100 bucks for it. I don't know. Uh, but for 10 bucks, definitely a no-brainer. Also got some signed footballs for a dollar each. This one is Anthony Munoz, Hall of Fame uh, Bengal player. Uh, probably the best player to ever play for the Bengals. This one, I'm not sure. She thought it was a Bengal, but when I looked up the number, it wasn't matching. If you guys ever get autographed um, footballs, baseballs, jerseys, whatever, and you're trying to figure out who the player is, you can go to profootballreference.com, and you can search jersey history number for a specific team. So you click the Bengals, and then you click the, you know 36, and it'll tell you every player that wore 36 uh, for the entirety of the Bengals. And so I was looking for names, first names started with a C, because that pretty much obviously looks like a C to me, and nothing was really matching up. Uh, so I'm not even sure if this was a Bengal, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. Got this book, The Noon Balloon by Margaret Wise Brown from the 50s. That was five bucks. I uh, didn't find any sold comps, so I just thought it looked pretty cool. I uh, also got this Braun thermometer. It is a little bit older, but it is new in the packaging. I paid five for it, and the same model is sell for around 30 Last but not least, I got two DVD recorders at one sale. I actually ran into my friend Jamie uh, and Vincent, and we were going to the same sale. You guys might know Vincent from the Vincent's Valuables YouTube channel. And I was joking with Jamie when I saw the electronics. And I was like, yeah, we're going to have a bidding war for the electronics. And Jamie was like, you know, I got a lot of that stuff, man. You go ahead and just buy some. So I went over there and I saw the price was $2. And Vincent didn't seem like he was interested. So I was showing him that um, the DVD recorders can be worth a lot of money. He was saying that he primarily does the combo units. So we looked up the Magnavox one, and I think prices were like $150 to $200 for this one. Uh, this, the Shiba one's a little lower. I saw prices anywhere from like 70 to 100 bucks. So Vincent was like, well, how about you take two of them and I'll take the other one. So he took the Phillips one, and I'm not sure what that was worth, but at $2 a piece, it was, you couldn't pass it up. Just way too cheap to leave it there. My friend Jamie also found a camera there to make some money on, so... I just thought it was interesting that three resellers went to one garage sale and we all walked away with something to make some money on. Just goes to show you that there is definitely enough to go around for everyone in this reselling game. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.